y'all hey it's Sherry monet back to y'all with another video today's video is super 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 exciting as always in today's video we are going to be talking all about how to find the best and most profitable instagram influencers youtube influencers brand ambassadors and everything in between you guys so if you're having a little bit of trouble when it comes to finding brand ambassadors and influencers for your brand in order to go through and promote your product or your service this video is for you you guys we're going to break everything down so you want to make sure that you stay tuned so those of you guys who are just starting out you're like troy what is influencer marketing i have no idea about it let me go ahead and put you guys up on game you guys so influencer marketing is definitely one of the leading marketing strategies used today by big 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 brands and small brands and everyone in between and the reason why influencer marketing is such a big buzz and definitely a really really good um strategy to get into is that the more attention that is surrounding your brand the more buzz is that is related to your brand the more dollars you guys and that is what we want right we want to increase our business's revenue we want to improve our business's bottom line and we can do that solely by just influencer marketing right influencer marketing is expected to be anywhere between a five to ten billion dollar industry within the next five years you guys in staying so social media platforms even youtube for example youtube has about 1.3 billion users using this platform that is a lot of people right that's a lot of attention solely on one platform that's why it's imperative for you guys who may be newer businesses or maybe smaller businesses to think about implementing some type of strategy in order to get influencers um maybe on instagram or youtubers here on this platform as well in order to go through and build that brand exposure however as a influencer and business owner myself i completely understand why a lot of you guys might be a little bit weary when it comes to adding some type of influencer program or brand ambassador program to your current strategy right you may not have the budget in order to do it you might simply be a little bit nervous putting your brand in someone else's hands i get it but influencer marketing is definitely a strategy that will help you a lot more then it will hurt you and it is two things that you can do to kind of go through and make sure that you are getting the best out of influencer marketing and that is number one to make sure that whatever influencer you use that they align with your target audience and number two that they are going to build you some type of awareness and the only way to really go through and know if they're going to build you some type of awareness is by using software platforms such as social book that can definitely go through and give you the stats and the data that you need in order to make sure that the influencer you're using is going to be good for your brand so as an influencer myself i highly recommend using social book to go through and do all of your research when it comes to using brand ambassadors and influencers because they have the data that you need in order to make sure that this influencer is going to be a good fit for your brand social book is an extremely powerful influencer marketing management software tool that is designed to help brands get influencers and for influencers themselves to get brand deals so social book influencer marketing platform is built solely with the purpose to help you outreach to influencers and to manage influencer relationships with ease that means that you're going to spend a lot less time fibbling through social media and a lot more of that time can be dedicated to other tasks and you'll still get a pretty good roi all right you guys so i'm going to walk you through the social book platform and just five simple steps you guys are going to have a way better understanding of the influencers that will not only be the best for your business but a better understanding of those ones that will be a little bit more profitable to your business as well all right you guys so let's go through and hop right on in so welcome to the social book website this is the top influencer marketing software for brands and for influencers so right down here we have two different options we can click i am a brand or for those of you guys who are influencers, you can even check this out. I'm gonna walk you through both of these two pages here so that way you guys have a little bit more information on how to go through and use the entire platform. So we're gonna click first, I am a brand. First thing we're gonna see here is find influencers that deliver results. So this entire section here is definitely great for you guys who are interested in searching for influencers. You can search by username. So let's say I already know a list. I already have a list of influencers that I want to go through and potentially use. I'm just using this platform in order to get a little bit more information on whether or not this influencer will be valuable to my brand or not. So I can just type in their Instagram names here, their YouTube name, their TikTok names in order for me to get some background reports on that influencer. 
I can even search by filter. This is really cool to me, you guys. I love this type of aspect because it's really going to get me to the nitty gritty of things in order for me to find influencers that are definitely going to be a great fit for my brand. I don't have to spend hours searching or fiddling through social media. I can definitely go right here and it'll filter those results for me. So I can search by influencer. What type of content am I looking for them to produce? If I'm a fashion brand, more than likely I'll select fashion and beauty, right? I can even go through and select multiple categories, people and blogs. Let's say I want them to be a little bit more into music too. I can go through and select that. Travel and events. Those are definitely some different categories that I can go through and search. I can search by country or region. I can search by continent, language, the amount of subscribers or followers I want this particular person to have. I can definitely go through and do that. I can search by audience. So what type of audience do I want this influencer to have? Nine times out of 10, you really, really want your influencer's audience and your audience to somewhat align. You want those to be almost identical because that's gonna allow you to know that the audience that they're reaching is the type of audience that you want for your brand themselves. So this right here, I might wanna say anywhere between 25 to 34 for my audience in particular. I might wanna say female worldwide or some type of you know higher so engagement rate and then i can click search so what this is going to do is give me a list of several different influencers right this gave me 78 influencers with a total of one point of 31.1 social media reach right so this can definitely allow me to go through in order to get some better idea as to some influencers that i can work with and you can even upgrade your account in order to get um their channel highlights or in, um audience analytics as well so we're going to hop right up here to the feature section and outline um some of the features for brands so we just talked about step number one, which is influencer research. We can search by the influencer's name. We already talked about that. We can search by filter. We just did that. And then step number three, or last but not least, way to go through and search rather, is to search by competitor. This is such a game changer, you guys. You can search by competitor. So let's say I know that Fashion Nova, for example, is a competitor of mine. Or let's say um, Revolve is a competitor of mine. I can even search by that in order to give me some leads too. Step number two is the influencer profile reports. This is imperative that you guys check these out. It's definitely going to break things down a lot for you. So that way you can get some background insight on whether or not this influencer will be a right fit for your brand. I can see the mentions. I can see the subjected price range as far as working with that influencer, the cost per engagement. I can see their overall engagement rate, their average engagement rate. I can definitely see their recent posts, their average amount of likes per post. I can see so much when it comes to um, influencers, right? I can see a lot of their metrics. So you guys definitely want to go through and check that out while you are searching for influencers. So that way you don't make the mistake of working with influencers who are not in line with your brand. Moving down to step number three, the outreach process, right? You want to bulk email your um, your influencers or what I would really recommend is to send each of them a personalized email. It makes things just a little bit more personalized and it definitely goes through and allows your influencer to know that you aren't necessarily like a robot, but you definitely, um, definitely want to go through and maybe personalize your email. So let's say I'm reaching out to Kim Kardashian. I'm going to say, hey, Kim, um, I just wanted to reach out for you on behalf of Wanted Wardrobe. Really interested in working with you. Saw your recent post discussing X and here's an idea that I had on a way for us to collaborate, right? That's just an example email, but definitely a way for you to go through and reach out. You guys can definitely bulk email as well, um, but definitely personalized emails are a great aspect there. But I love the fact that they do offer you some type of bulk email platform in order for you guys to go through and send out mass emails to influencers too. Step number four is the pro, uh, performance prediction. So now that everyone's on board, you can run a quick performance indication or prediction in order for you to go through and, you know, track your analytics a little bit better. See, um, you know, where your influencers may be going through and getting some type of reach. What results are you expecting? How will you go through in order to... All right, step number four is your performance prediction. Now that everyone's on board, you can run a quick performance prediction in order to predict some of the influence that your audience. So step number four is performance prediction. So now that everyone's on board, you can run a quick performance prediction in order to predict the results that this influencer will get for your brand. 
Step number five is going to be KPI tracking and results. This, and reports rather, this is so important. This is my favorite step of the process is really going through and tracking those key performance indicators, really going through and seeing what that influencer did for your brand and what they didn't do for your brand, right? This is going to give you guys some great data to see whether or not you should continue this partnership or relationship with this influencer or if you can go through and, you know, look for another influencer that would be a little bit better fit for your brand as well, you guys. So that's it. Definitely some really great aspects here, some really great tools here for you guys to use if you are a brand currently looking to break out into the influencer marketing space. So now we're going to take a deeper dive into those of you guys who are influencers. So those of you guys who are influencers looking to add some type of influencer marketing to your resume, you guys are looking to work with brands. You definitely also want to check out Social Book because they have some great tools that are going to help you guys as well. So it's tool number one or step number one rather is to know your influence. You really, really want to make sure that you have a clear indication as to your audience's demographics, right? As to your channel's performance, as to a lot of the different aspects that go into the background of your analytics as a whole. You want to know your analytics like the back of your hand. They're going to change periodically, but you do want to have a good understanding as to that. So that way you can know what type of brands to reach out to or what type of brands um, should be reaching out to you as well. You want to grow your channel, grow your social platforms as well. You want to make sure that you are using different tools and different methods in order to make sure that you are prepped for SEO. SEO is how people are going to find you, right? That's that search engine optimization. That's how people are going to find you. So you want to make sure you're using keywords, different tags, different ways to make you a little bit more visible to brands who would want to use you as their influencer. And here are just a few other things. You can check out other influencers' reports so that way you can get some type of idea as to how yours should go through and look. You can get brand offers. So they do offer some type of way for you to go through and fill out a brand collaboration form and Social Book will match you to brands that are right fit for you. So you guys can definitely check that out. Social Book also has a bunch of free tools for you to go through and use. They have a background remover. They have a photo cartoonizer. They even have a tag research um, platform in order for you to follow and get the latest on the most trending topics and to get even content inspiration. They even have Influencer Academy here for you for you to go through and check out if you are interested in getting more information on how to build yourself better as an influencer. All right, you guys. So as you can see, Social Book is an amazing tool that I highly recommend all of you guys looking to add influencer marketing to your current strategy to definitely check out. It is a great way if you're looking to break out into the influencer marketing space as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, if it was helpful, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.